Something major just went down in the past 24 hours, and if it pans out, it could spell disaster for the entire crypto market. I'm talking about a meltdown so intense that it might send Bitcoin crashing to zero. The news is so significant that its repercussions on Shiba Inu and other altcoins are beyond comprehension. But what's the story behind it all? Stick around as we unravel the details and explore the potentially market-shattering events that unfolded recently. Disclaimer. If you recall the previous video on this channel, the new bill now mandates that all crypto transactions over $10,000 must be reported to the IRS within 15 days or risk facing potential felony charges. Individuals engaged in trade or business must submit details such as the name, address, and social security number of the person involved, along with transaction specifics. The potential impact on the crypto community is substantial, raising concerns about privacy and the necessity for transparency. Critics argue that the bill could compromise the privacy of blockchain transactions, allowing the government to trace how individuals and businesses spend their crypto. Notably, there is legal uncertainty as the IRS has yet to provide specific guidance on certain scenarios, such as crypto transactions without a distinct sender with a name and social security number. This lack of clarity adds to the challenges and debates surrounding the implementation and implications of the new rule. Adding to the discussion, the Shiba Inu community finds itself in a state of discontent over the new bill. Shitoshi Kusama, a prominent figure associated with Shiba Inu, has consistently emphasized the significance of decentralization within the cryptocurrency space. The community is expressing its frustration as the new legislation appears to contradict the core principles of decentralization that Kusama advocates for. The anger within the Shiba Inu community stems from the belief that increased regulatory oversight, as mandated by the bill, goes against the very essence of decentralized cryptocurrencies. Kusama's previous statements, stressing the importance of autonomy and freedom from centralized control, have resonated strongly with Shiba Inu supporters. As a result, the community perceives the bill as a threat to the decentralized nature they hold dear, sparking discussions and debates within the Shiba Inu community about the future trajectory of the cryptocurrency in light of these regulatory developments. While this news is concerning, it pales in comparison to what I am about to reveal next. In the last 24 hours, an unusual event caught the attention of the crypto community. Someone acquired almost 27 bitcoins on Binance, totaling 1.1 million US dollars, and directed the entire amount to the Satoshi Nakamoto address. The peculiarity of this transaction lies in the fact that the Satoshi Nakamoto address, associated with the pseudonymous creator of Bitcoin, has been inactive. For those unfamiliar, Satoshi Nakamoto is the mysterious and pseudonymous creator of Bitcoin, the world's leading cryptocurrency. Disappearing over 13 years ago, their true identity remains unknown, even to this day. The enigmatic figure left the crypto world without a trace, and the recent transaction adds another layer of mystery. The intriguing aspect is why someone would choose to send such a substantial amount to an address linked to Satoshi Nakamoto, especially considering the elusive nature of the creator's identity. The community is left curious, as this move seems counterintuitive. Given the perpetual mystery surrounding Satoshi Nakamoto, the motivation behind sending a significant sum to an inactive address remains unclear, sparking discussions and speculation within the crypto space. The first prevailing theory circulating within the crypto community suggests that Satoshi Nakamoto might be behind the recent transaction, possibly indicating a strategic move to accumulate more Bitcoin in preparation for a major market shift. However, this theory raises logical questions, primarily centered around the core principle of Satoshi Nakamoto's anonymity. The mysterious creator of Bitcoin has maintained a deliberate distance from the public eye for over 13 years, emphasizing the importance of decentralization and avoiding any direct influence over the cryptocurrency. Engaging in significant transactions that draw attention seems contradictory to this principle. If Satoshi Nakamoto desires to remain anonymous, why would they make such a noticeable move in the market? Additionally, the question arises, if Satoshi Nakamoto is not the one behind this transaction, then who would send a staggering $1 million worth of Bitcoin to an address associated with an inactive pseudonymous creator? For many individuals, $1 million represents a life-changing amount, capable of influencing financial security, education, or even home ownership. It could equate to years of hard work, savings, and planning for the future. To send such a substantial sum to an address linked to Satoshi Nakamoto 
without any apparent gain or communication, raises more questions than answers. However, there actually could be one logical explanation. But before we begin, note that everything discussed in this video is speculative theory. Conduct your own research for accurate information before drawing conclusions or making decisions. And with that being said, here's something crazy. Some speculations suggest that the government or somebody else might be the orchestrator behind the recent Bitcoin transaction to the Satoshi Nakamoto address, proposing a strategy to flush out the elusive creator. The rationale behind this theory is grounded in the regulatory landscape surrounding crypto transactions. If Satoshi Nakamoto were to receive a million-dollar gift, tax regulations would typically require reporting such income. By sending this substantial sum to the creator's address, the government could be employing a tactic to force Nakamoto into a position where reporting the gift becomes necessary, especially in the wake of the recently approved bill. Mandating the reporting of all transactions over $10,000, this theory gains even more relevance. The idea is that if Satoshi Nakamoto fails to comply with tax reporting requirements, and if the government has information about their identity, it could open the door to potential charges of tax evasion. This theory relies on the assumption that Nakamoto, if still alive, might be compelled to disclose their identity when faced with legal obligations and potential consequences. The intricacy of this speculation lies in the strategic move by authorities to use financial regulations as a means to unveil the identity of the anonymous creator. It adds a layer of intrigue to the ongoing saga surrounding Satoshi Nakamoto as the crypto community continues to grapple with the complexities of regulatory scrutiny and the quest for uncovering one of the greatest mysteries in the world of cryptocurrencies. The unfolding events, including the speculated government involvement in the recent Bitcoin transaction to Satoshi Nakamoto's address, have the potential to ripple across the broader cryptocurrency market. Many in the crypto community express concerns that the discovery and legal actions against Satoshi Nakamoto, if that were to happen, could have profound implications for the entire crypto space, particularly on Bitcoin, the world's leading cryptocurrency. The notion here is that Satoshi Nakamoto's anonymity is intricately tied to the ethos of decentralization and the foundational principles of Bitcoin. If Nakamoto were to be unmasked, potentially charged or imprisoned, it might shake the core beliefs of the crypto community. Bitcoin's unique selling point has been its decentralized nature, and the revelation of Nakamoto's identity could challenge the trust and confidence that many investors and enthusiasts place in the cryptocurrency. The impact would not be limited to Bitcoin alone. It could have cascading effects on the broader crypto market, potentially causing fluctuations in prices and market sentiment. As Bitcoin often serves as a bellwether for the cryptocurrency space, any significant developments affecting its foundational principles could resonate throughout the market. Moreover, such incidents could prompt increased government scrutiny and regulatory measures in the crypto space. The government's potential role in the recent transaction and the subsequent legal actions against Nakamoto might intensify efforts to regulate and monitor cryptocurrency transactions. This could lead to a more tightly regulated environment, impacting not only Bitcoin, but also other cryptocurrencies, including altcoins like Shiba Inu. For Shiba Inu and other altcoins, the impact might be twofold. On one hand, if increased regulatory measures are imposed, the entire crypto market might experience heightened scrutiny, affecting investor sentiment. On the other hand, the potential fallout from developments surrounding Bitcoin as the flagship cryptocurrency could lead to market volatility, impacting altcoins like Shiba Inu. In summary, these events have the potential to reshape the narrative of the cryptocurrency landscape, with implications extending beyond individual coins. The interconnected nature of the crypto market means that developments in one aspect can reverberate throughout the entire ecosystem, prompting both short-term fluctuations and long-term shifts in the regulatory landscape. As we navigate these uncertainties, it remains essential for the crypto community to stay informed and engaged in discussions that shape the future of the decentralized financial landscape. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.